Hello and welcome to our instructional video, video on how to successfully perform the harvest step test. This is a submaximal test used to measure athletes' rate of recovery as well as their cardiovascular fitness. The assessment of cardiovascular fitness is important for athletes who experience high intensity activity followed by rest periods such as football and rugby. Before conducting the test, participants must complete a PARQ questionnaire to determine if they are physically fit enough to participate. After they have passed the questionnaire, the test administrator and participant must agree the surrounding area is suitable and safe to conduct the test, making sure it is safe with no objects which could cause injury. The athlete is advised to complete a warm-up lasting 5-10 to 10 minutes to ensure the body is ready and reduce the risk of injury. Aspects needed in the fitness test include a heart raiser and stretches. The step platform or bench must be stable and safe to prevent falling. The ground must be flat on a non-slip surface and the bench must have no obstructions. The equipment required to conduct this test accurately and safely include a stepping block which must be 20 inches and stable and safe, a stopwatch to ensure the running time of the test is accurate, a metronome to conduct the test fairly, an assistant to ensure the recording of the heart rate of the participants and timing to ensure the test is reliable. This piece of equipment is the metronome and will sound when the athlete should step up and down the bench. This sound will go every two seconds and this is when the athlete should step up and down the bench. This will approximately be 30 beats per minute or 30 steps. This will continue for five minutes or until the athlete cannot perform anymore and reach the point of exhaustion. The athlete should know their own strengths and limitations for the test, otherwise injury will occur, which will prevent them from participating in future times causing injury and making the test invalid. When the recovery process has begun, the athlete's pulse is recorded after the first, second and third minute of recovery. Like so. Once completed, the athlete must complete a cool down, slowly decreasing their heart rate and also include stretches to remove lactic acid and begin the process of recovery. The recorded heart rate of the athlete can be entered into the following equation to gauge the racing of their resulting calculation. In the example shown, the totaling heart rate is 180. When inputting the data into the equation, the resulting calculation is 83.3. When using this result, it can be compared to normative data shown. In this example, shown for 83.3, it would be rated as above average for both female and male participants.